today we're going to have a conversation about the Colonial Chorus Players. Why don't you talk a little bit about it? Sure. Um, I am the current president of the Colonial Chorus Players here in Reading. Um, next year, 2016, marks our 55th year here in Reading performing community theater. Um, and one of the big things we have going on right now is we have a small rehearsal space that we use. It's called the Old Hose House on Main Street right. here in Reading. Um, and we're actually in talks with some architects and different things about turning that space into, instead of a rehearsal space, a um, performance space awesome. with actually, you know, a small theater that could seat about 100 to 150 people. Um, so we have right now going um, a GoFundMe campaign, asking people, the community, businesses, and whatnot, to help us with that campa campaign and to support that. Um, and I actually brought the video with me, um, so I was hoping maybe we'd be able to show the video. Yeah, absolutely. Um, if right we can now, so dial people, up the video. Uh, that would be great. Check it out. Hi, my name is Nick Gould. And I'm a member of the board of Colonial Chorus Players, a nonprofit community theater based in Reading, Massachusetts. Since 1961, CCP has been providing high quality musical theater performances to Reading and the surrounding communities. And recently, we've expanded our efforts to include educational programs for students. As a nonprofit community theater, Colonial Chorus Players relies on the dedication and hard work of a group of volunteers to build our sets, make our costumes, sell tickets, and perform in our shows. And for over 50 years, we've done very well. But unfortunately, the cost of performing live theater has increased dramatically in the last decade. The rights to shows, the venues we perform in, even the materials we use to build our sets have all increased in price. And while our volunteers have done their best, it's time we need a little bit more. So you may be asking yourself, how much does one of these shows cost? Well, to give you an example, our last major production, Young Frankenstein, cost almost $27,000. Yeah. That's the venue. That's the rights. That's even with our set designer reusing and repurposing old pieces of wood that we've got stored in the basement. So what I am asking is we would like to raise $100,000 to continue what our community has come to expect from us. Now, just so you know what we plan to do with this, we plan to, one, continue running our slate of shows. We have two more shows this season, and also we have two shows coming up this summer that are part of our educational programs. The money will go to support that. We'll also go to support next season and the season after, and lastly, it will go to support our plan to turn our base of operations, the Old Hose House, into a 150-seat theater. That will allow us to perform without worry of the overhead cost of venues, and so that we can continue providing the high-quality performances our community has come to expect from us. So what can you do to help? I'm asking everyone watching this video for $10 and a share on whatever social media you use, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, MySpace if you're still on there. I know $100,000 seems like a lot, but I know in today's interconnected society, we can make it happen. So before I go, I'd like to leave you with a thought about live theater. The purpose of live theater, the point, is not the characters on stage, it's not the stories they tell, it's not the actors, or the sets, or the costumes, or the lights, or any of that stuff. It's the human connection between the performers and the audience. It's a connection that no other art form can come close to. The actors send energy out into the audience, and the audience sends it right back. The audience in a live theater performance isn't just there to watch. They're part of the show part of the cast. That is why live theater is so important. It's what makes it so magical and it's why we need to keep it going. If you'd like more information about Colonial Chorus Players and what we do, please visit our website www.ccp1961.org. Thank you for watching and please take the time to support live theater. Thank you. 
So Angela, GoFundMe pages are, are a great way to, to fundraise and to crowdsource. How else are you all approaching the fundraising? Um, we also have a cabaret that's coming up June, um, June 12th, 13th, and 14th. I believe that we will actually be performing at the Hose House to give people a taste of some different things that we would be able to do in this space. Um, and then in the fall, we'll jump right back into our regular season with doing you know some plays and some musicals to we're community theater. That's the best thing we can do to raise money for ourselves is do what we're good at. Right. And where else can, where can people get more information? Um, our website, uh, www.ccp1961.org. That has all of the info about us there as well as the GoFundMe video too. Awesome.